Welcome aboard on this journey to mastering frugal living like a pro. Now, you might be wondering, what exactly is frugal living? It's more than just clipping coupons and denying yourself the occasional treat. It's a lifestyle, a mindset, a commitment to getting the most out of every dollar. It's about making thoughtful choices that prioritize your financial goals over fleeting pleasures. Frugality doesn't mean deprivation. Instead, it's about understanding the true value of money and using it to create a life you love. It's about making decisions today that will give you freedom tomorrow. In this video, we're going to walk you through a step-by-step -step guide on how to embrace a frugal lifestyle. We'll delve into understanding your finances, setting financial goals, cutting expenses, embracing DIY, investing in quality, and even tips on making extra money. Stay tuned as we dive into the first step towards mastering frugal living. Hello viewers, if you are enjoying this content, and you do not want to miss future videos filled with even more tips, tricks, and inspiration, hit that subscribe button now to stay tuned with us and remember to comment and share. First things first, understanding your finances is key to frugal living. Diving into the world of frugal living, we first need to comprehend our own financial landscape. Like a sailor navigating a vast ocean, our money is the ship that carries us through, and we need to know how to steer it right. The cornerstone of this understanding is knowing where your money goes. Each dollar you earn is a soldier in your financial army. So how do you deploy your troops? Do they march towards necessities like rent, groceries, and utilities? Or are they meandering into the territory of impulse purchases and non-essentials? To answer these questions, we need to talk about budgeting. Budgeting is not about depriving yourself, it's about making informed decisions. It's like a financial roadmap guiding you towards your goals while avoiding the pitfalls of overspending. It's about making your money work for you rather than against you. Creating a budget begins with tracking your expenses. Whether you use a simple notebook, a spreadsheet, or a fancy app, the key is to record everything. Every coffee, every movie ticket, every tank of gas. It may seem tedious, but it's an eye-opening exercise. It reveals your spending habits, and more importantly, it highlights areas where you can cut back without compromising your lifestyle. Once you've tracked your expenses for a month or two, you'll start to see patterns. You'll identify the big ticket items and the small leaks that drain your finances. This is your chance to take control. You can prioritize your spending, allocate funds for savings, and trim the excess. Remember, knowledge is power. By understanding your finances, you're equipping yourself with the tools to live frugally without feeling deprived. You're taking the reins of your financial future, steering it towards a destination of financial stability and freedom. So take the time to understand your finances. Dig into your spending habits. Create a budget that reflects your priorities and goals. And most importantly, stick to it. With your finances in clear view, it's time to move on to the next step. Now that you know where your money goes, it's time to set some financial goals. Financial goals act as a compass, giving direction to your frugal journey. They are the roadmap to financial independence, and without them, you might find yourself wandering in the wilderness of overspending and financial uncertainty. Let's start with short-term financial goals. These are goals you aim to achieve within the next year. Maybe you want to pay off a small debt, save for a vacation, or start an emergency fund. Short-term goals are like the stepping stones across the river of financial management. They're immediate and tangible, and achieving them gives you the confidence to tackle bigger challenges. Now let's talk about long-term financial goals. These are the mountains in the distance, the goals that may take several years or even decades to reach. Perhaps you're dreaming of buying a house, retiring early, or funding your child's college education. Long-term goals require patience and perseverance. They're not achieved overnight, but the satisfaction of reaching them is worth every sacrifice. To set effective financial goals, you need to make them smart, specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. Instead of saying, I want to save money, say I want to save $5,000 for a family vacation in two years. This goal is specific. You can measure your progress. It's achievable with some frugal practices. It's relevant to your desire for a family vacation, and it's time-bound with a two-year deadline. Remember, your financial goals should reflect your values and aspirations. If you value travel, set a goal to save for trips. If you aspire to be debt-free, make this your primary goal. Your goals should inspire you, motivate you, and give you a reason to embrace frugal living. Financial goals are not set in stone. Life happens, and your goals may need to change to reflect new circumstances. Being flexible and adaptable is just as important as being disciplined and committed. 
With goals in place, you're ready for the next step, cutting expenses. Let's dive into that in our next segment. Ready to start cutting those expenses to live frugally? Frugality isn't about deprivation. It's about making conscious decisions where our money goes. So, let's dive right into the process of cutting expenses. Groceries. We all need to eat, but there's a lot of room for saving in our food budget. The first step is planning meals. By planning your meals for the week, you can avoid impulse purchases and make sure you're using everything you buy. Buying in bulk can also lead to significant savings, especially for items you use regularly. And don't forget about coupons and store loyalty programs. They can shave off a noticeable chunk from your grocery bill. Utilities. There's a common misconception that we have little control over these expenses, but that's simply not true. Small changes can lead to big savings. Switch off lights when you're not in the room. Unplug electronics when they're not in use. Consider energy-efficient appliances. They might be more expensive up front, but they'll save you money in the long run. Entertainment. We all need a little fun in our lives, but entertainment can be a major drain on our budget. Instead of going out for dinner and a movie, why not host a potluck and movie night at home? Instead of buying books, borrow them from the library. There are countless low-cost or free entertainment options out there. You just have to look for them. Now here's a key point to remember. It's important to differentiate between your needs and your wants. Needs are necessities for survival, like food and shelter. Wants, on the other hand, are things we'd like to have but don't necessarily need. By focusing on needs and limiting wants, you can make significant cuts to your expenses. Cutting expenses is a crucial step in frugal living, but there's more to it. So, stay tuned as we continue our journey to mastering frugal living like a pro. Embracing the do-it-yourself culture can help you save a lot and it's our next step. Imagine the satisfaction of creating something with your own two hands, coupled with the gratification of saving money. That's the power of DIY. It's a frugal living hack that's gaining popularity and for good reason. Let's start with cooking at home. When you swap out a few restaurant meals for home-cooked ones, you'll be amazed at how much you can save. A home-cooked meal can cost a fraction of a restaurant meal. Plus, you have the added benefit of controlling the ingredients, making it a healthier choice too. Your kitchen is a goldmine of savings if you know how to use it. Next, let's talk about minor repairs. A leaky faucet, a loose door hinge, or a broken tile don't always require a professional. With a little research and a few tools, you can fix these minor issues yourself. It might sound intimidating at first, but there are countless tutorials and guides available online that can help you every step of the way. But DIY isn't just about practical matters. It extends to creative pursuits, too. Making homemade gifts, for instance, can save you a substantial amount of money, especially during holiday seasons. A homemade gift, whether it's a hand-knit scarf, a jar of homemade jam, or a custom piece of artwork, carries a personal touch that store-bought items simply can't replicate. And let's not forget about DIY home decor. With a bit of creativity, you can transform everyday items into unique pieces of home decor. Old jars can become candle holders, a piece of driftwood can turn into a rustic shelf, and a few pieces of fabric can be sewn into charming pillow covers. Remember, the goal of DIY isn't just about saving money. It's also about learning new skills, exploring your creativity, and taking pride in your accomplishments. The savings are just a wonderful bonus. DIY not only saves money, but also adds a personal touch to things. Let's move to the next step. Frugal living doesn't mean always buying the cheapest, it's about investing in quality. That's a statement that often surprises people. But let's break it down. The idea of investing in quality is based around the concept of cost per use. This concept is a simple but powerful tool to help you make more informed decisions about your purchases. Here's how it works. You divide the total cost of an item by the estimated number of times you'll use it. This gives you the cost per use. Let's say you're in the market for a new winter coat. Option A is a stylish but cheaply made coat for $50. Option B is a high-quality, durable coat for $200. The cheap coat might be tempting, but let's think about cost per use. If you buy the cheaper coat, but it wears out after just one winter, your cost per use for that season is $50. But what about the more expensive coat? If it lasts you five winters, your cost per use drops to $40 per season. Over time, the more expensive coat actually becomes the cheaper option. And cost per use isn't just about money, it's also about time and effort. Every time you have to replace a cheaply made item, you're investing time into shopping and researching, not to mention the mental energy of deciding. So, while the initial price tag of a quality item may be higher, 
the long-term cost per use is often lower. This doesn't mean you should always buy the most expensive option. It means you should consider the quality and longevity of a product before making a purchase. It's a shift in mindset, from immediate gratification and short-term savings to long-term value and sustainability. Investing in quality can actually save you money in the long run. And remember, frugal living isn't about deprivation. It's about making smart, informed decisions that allow you to live well within your means. Investing in quality is a smart approach to frugal living. Let's now talk about making extra money. While saving is essential, making extra money can speed up your journey towards financial independence. Now, let's switch gears a bit and talk about how you can boost your income. First off, take a look around your home. Do you see items that are collecting dust? Perhaps an old bicycle or a set of golf clubs you haven't used in years? These unused items could be a potential gold mine. Selling them online through platforms like eBay or Facebook Marketplace can put some extra cash in your pocket. It's like the saying goes, one man's trash is another man's treasure. Next, consider your skills and talents. Are you a whiz at graphic design? Can you write engaging blog posts? Have a knack for teaching? Freelancing is an excellent way to monetize your skills. Platforms like Upwork or Fiverr connect skilled individuals with clients who need their services. And the best part? You can work from the comfort of your own home at your own pace. Another option is to take on a part-time job. This could be anything from working a few hours at a local cafe to driving for a ride-sharing service or even walking dogs in your neighborhood. Be creative and think about what you enjoy doing. Who knows, your part-time job might even turn into a passion project. Finally, don't forget about passive income streams. These are sources of income that require little to no effort to maintain. Think renting out a room in your house, investing in dividend-paying stocks, or creating a blog that generates ad revenue. Remember, every little bit helps. Even an extra $100 a month can make a significant difference in your financial journey. It's not just about the money, it's about the freedom and security that financial independence brings. Making extra money can give your frugal living journey a boost, but remember, consistency is key. Keep exploring, keep learning, and keep pushing towards your financial goals. So, there you have it a step-by-step -step guide to mastering frugal living like a pro. We've journeyed together through the process of understanding your finances, setting financial goals, cutting expenses, embracing DIY, investing in quality, and making extra money. Each of these steps is a crucial building block in the grand architecture of frugal living. Remember, understanding your finances is the foundation. It's about knowing what comes in and what goes out. It's about facing the reality of your financial situation and taking stock of where you stand. Setting financial goals is your blueprint. It's about knowing where you want to go and outlining the steps you need to take to get there. It's about having a vision and a plan. Cutting expenses is your construction crew. It's about making tough decisions about distinguishing between wants and needs. It's about prioritizing, eliminating, and reducing. Embracing DIY is your interior designer. It's about being creative, about learning new skills and applying them to save money. It's about making the most of what you have and stretching your dollar further. Investing in quality is your building inspector. It's about making smart, long-term decisions. It's about understanding that sometimes spending a little more now can save you a lot more later. Making extra money is your property manager. It's about finding ways to increase your income. It's about taking advantage of opportunities and turning them into profit. However, don't forget that frugal living is a journey, not a destination. It's about continuous improvement and lifelong learning. It's about making the most of what you have and finding joy in simplicity. So take these steps, apply them, and begin your journey towards frugal living. You'll find that not only will you save money, but you'll also cultivate a deeper appreciation for the things that truly matter in life. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe, like, and share it with others. Let's all master frugal living together.